but yeah, they're all, it's, he, Loki's an amazing character, and he's the shapeshifter of the Marvel Universe, and it's a, a privilege to play him. Hi, I'm Natasha. Um, thank you guys for coming out today. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, my question is also for Tom. Um, watching the deleted scenes in Thor, it seems that Loki's character is kind of cut a little bit. And um, will we see like a more deeper side to him in the Avengers, or will it sort of? Um, well, he's definitely evolved in the Avengers. He's, yeah. he's um, I think, through the course of Thor, you see, you see um, Loki's journey of self-discovery, and it, it, it's, it's as much an origin story for Thor as it is for Loki. And both Thor and Loki start that film as two brothers who stand to inherit the kingdom, and the picture looks very different at the end. Um, I hope that. Uh, there's, there's plenty of them in, in the Avengers. Um, and that's up to Joss, and, uh, and uh, we certainly shot the hell out of him in, in, over the summer. Um, I, I loved it. He, he's, he's definitely moved on. I mean, he's the Loki who knows exactly who he is now. He's fully self-possessed, and um, he is one mean fella. <laughs> I love the beard, we're looking forward to Henry. Thank <laughs> you. It's the beard love. Okay. I could just listen to your two accents go back and forth all day long. That is so <laughs> wonderful. Should we, should, should we get a pot of tea, brew? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about Will and Kate! Bossy. Bossy the Queen. Indeed. We're going to go to the Queen. Uh, be calm, carry on. All right. Uh, What's your question, ma'am? Um, my question is for Tom. Um, I, was wondering, um, I was wondering, um, you fought like a lot of the Avengers, obviously, and I was wondering which was your favorite Avenger to fight against. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Maria Hill! Maria <laughs> Hill drives a hard bargain. <laughs> Um, it's um, it, you know it, it, it's what's fun is because I get each each um, superhero has their particular sort of power, so Loki has to adapt to each hero. Um, the way that uh, he fights, maybe Captain America, to my right, might be a little more rough and tumble. Um, uh, I'd be interested to see what you think of the way um, Loki gets ruffalized. <laughs> Inevitably, there's a lot more um, uh, brotherly brawling with um, with the God of Thunder. And uh, Tony Stark has his day too. Uh, I, can't, I really couldn't pick a favourite. It was really, really fun. Thank you. Yeah. If Rob Lies doesn't make it into the Urban Dictionary by the time it's jammed. Alright, what is your name? My name is Megan, and I have been in this auditorium since 10 in the morning. Um, we've obviously all been very excited since Iron Man 1 for this whole Avengers initiative, and I'm assuming that's a lot of pressure <laughs> when filming this movie, so I was wondering, how did you guys feel about filming this movie? What was the atmosphere when you were filming? Uh, it, was a, it was a really good time, and uh, it was very exciting, and I'll never forget the first day where I walked out and I actually saw Captain America. <laughs> Uh, Sam Jackson, and Nita Hill, uh, and uh, Iron Man, and Tony Stark all there assembled in, 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 in our secret craft. It's a helicarry. It's a helicarry. It's a helicarry. It's awesome. Uh, yeah, it was, a, it, was, it was actually quite a bit of fun. Anyone else? I said a little about this too. It started kind of at the um, Frank here at the Disney Concert Hall, trying to serve some papers to Tony Stark and Iron Man One to actually find myself myself back in the black suit, 
walking into a room and seeing the door swing open. And there were the Avengers. I kind of felt like it was the Make-A-Wish Foundation. <laughs> Similar experience too. I felt I feel like uh, I started the movie and it was you were doing a lot of um, the helicarrier stuff. And but when everyone came in, it, it, it was so intimidating, and it, you could not see me because I was glued to the to the back. I was like I, I was all, I was a, a fly on the wall. I was just so intimidated with, with everyone. Um, but I, I think that's sort of how it started off. And then as time went on, you know, we all became friends and. Um, there was a lot of time to hang out on set. <laughs> so. there, was, there was not a lot of times when, when everyone was in town at exactly yeah. the same moment, but the night there was, my favorite text I may have ever gotten in my life was from Chris Evans, and it just said, Assemble. <laughs> Um, but it's, uh, 
Or maybe he doesn't. There's always, there's, there's always like saving it and then trying to destroy it and then saving it again. Um, but I love, uh, I love that. I think it's about there are some apples involved. And it needs to, it needs to distract everyone's attention from the apples, and he goes and and, and he distracts. He distracts a female horse by changing a horse. Oh, you know, right? Anyway, there's a horse involved. A pretty, pretty horse. Is that good? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I think maybe two more questions at a time. Hi, my name is Elle, and I apologize because you're all amazing, but in, uh, I have to ask Tom. Um, <laughs> Because we all felt that your portrayal was so amazing. How did you? What did you? How did you tap into that very tortured spirit? Because you come across kind of like Gene Wilder here. It's so funny. People at my drama school used to say I look like Gene Wilder. Very high compliment. My favorite. Thank you. Yeah, he's amazing. I'm one of the favorite. Gene Wilder. Come with me. Come on, kids, into my creepy factory. Come on, I'm here in my school.
thank you guys for making, for turning Marvel into something amazing. And thank you, Tom, for turning Loki into one of my top two. Oh my god. Thirdly, um, this question is for Kevin. Um, I, recently, I recently bought the Entertainment Weekly uh, magazine for the Avengers. And, um, I noticed that you got like new movies on the way, like Guardians of the Galaxy and The Inhumans. Um, obviously, you, obviously, for, I feel like you're planning to bring the cosmic uh, Marvel heroes together the same way you did with the Avengers. And if that's and if that's going to happen, how is that going to happen? <laughs> well, I mean, certainly we're going to continue. You know, we're, we're working on a movie. Uh, we're pre-production a movie called Iron Man 3 right now. and what we sort of refer to as a phase two of this Avengers Assemble saga that will culminate, got Melling and, and Avengers do. Movies like The Humans and Guardians, you know, can certainly fit into that. Those movies, though, will, you know, will introduce the groups in those movies. You know, I'm not going to do a Rock and Raccoon movie and a group movie and a <laughs> Star Wars movie yeah, on their own. We'll just, they'll all be in the, in the Guardians together. Excellent. That was a fantastic last question. Well done, sir.